Hi, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and I'm going to show you how to use the new updated Cozy Clicks Perfect Portrait Action Pack. Now, these are Photoshop actions for portraits using Photoshop CC. Let me show you how to use them. The Cozy Clicks Perfect Portrait Pack is loaded up into the Actions panel up here. If you're not sure how to load actions, I'm going to put a link in the description below um, to a tutorial so you can learn how to do that. But once they are loaded in, you can easily go to this horizontal line menu bar right here. Click on that and make sure you're in button mode. That way it makes the actions display much easier and neater and helps keep them organized when you're working with them. Now, this action pack is for retouching of portraits. And the first action here is a play all. So I'm going to click that and that's going to load in every Photoshop retouching action that's in this pack. However, if you'd only like to use a few on your portrait, you can easily come through here and select just the ones you'd like to use and they stack right on top of each other. For now though, let's take a look at all of them so you can see what's available in this portrait pack. Now you're going to notice that um, when I ran this, nothing changed on this photo. And that's because each of these actions are inverted. They're turned off right now. To use them, you have to paint on with a soft white brush. So I'm going to start with a skin softener. You're going to want to make sure on each of these that your on the layer mask so that is selected. Then you're going to want to grab your brush and make sure it's set to white. You can adjust the size of the brush and then paint on the areas of your portrait where you would like the action to appear. So I'm using the skin softener right now. This skin softener is set at 100% so if you like very soft skin it's going to appear very soft from the beginning. Now, the cool thing about these actions is that they are all very customizable, so you can adjust them to your liking. So if this is a little too soft for you, all you have to do is go up to the opacity, which is on the right-hand side here, and adjust it to your liking. So for this particular one, I don't like the skin so soft, so I'm going to bring it down to maybe about 53%, and I like the look of that. It's a little more realistic looking. Now your second action is the skin brightener. I'm going to click on that, make sure I'm on that layer mask once again, and I'm just going to brush on her skin to give it some brightness and an extra added glow. Once again, if this is too intense for you, and I think it is for me on this one, all you do is go to the opacity and you bring it down to where you like it. The next two actions are slightly different. You have a choice of a skin warmth or a skin cool down. So depending on if you like your portraits a little warmer or cooler, you're going to select the one you want to use. On this image, I feel like it's already a little on the cool side and I know I like my images a little warmer, so I'm going to pick the skin warmth. All you do is turn it on. Now, this is a little too intense for me. I think it made it a little too warm, so I'm going to select that warmth, and instead of brushing areas on or off, all I do with this one is adjust the opacity until I get it where I like it. And I think at about 50% looks good. So you can see there it is. That's without the skin warmth, and there it is with the warmth to the skin. The next action is the red removal. So if you have skin that's blotchy or red or it was a hot day and there's red in the skin, you can click on this one and just paint on the areas that are red to remove that from the skin. Now she looks pretty good. She doesn't have a lot of redness in her skin, so I'm not going to use this action on this particular portrait. The next one is the eye sharpener. I'm going to click on that mask and I'm going to zoom in so we can see the eyes a little closer. Now all I'm going to do on the eye sharpener is paint on her eyes and that's going to sharpen them up and make them um, crisp and clear and in focus. Okay. Then I'm going to go to the eye brightener 
That is going to brighten up those eye whites for me. I'm just going to paint those on. That's a little too intense for me, so I'm going to go back to my opacity once again and just drop that down to where I think it looks natural and nice. And 39% looks, looks pretty good for me. Next is the catch light action, and this is just going to accentuate the catch lights that are already in the eyes. So I'm just going to find the catch lights in both of her eyes and dab that action on with the brush, and that is going to make them a little more intense and sparkly. Lashes is the next one. This is going to create more contrast within the eyes and the lashes, so I'm just going to paint on to make them a little darker. Now, because she is a younger child, I don't want it to look like she's wearing makeup or mascara, so I'm going to decrease the opacity on this one. So it doesn't look like she's wearing makeup, but still gives a nice contrast to her eyes. So I'm gonna bring that down to about 33%. The next three actions are the blush brushes. So you have a choice between rosy, redder, or peachy cheeks. Once again, because she is a younger child, I don't want it to look like she's wearing makeup, so I'm gonna choose the peachy cheek blush brush. I'm gonna make it a little bigger, and I'm just gonna brush on to her natural, um, the natural color in her cheeks, just to bring that out a little more. And I think the opacity on that looks great. Um, but once again, if you want to change that, you have the option to do that right up here. The next three are the lip glosses. There is the pink, redder, and natural. Because I see her lips do have a lot of pink in them already, I'm going to choose the pink lips, and that's just going to bring that pink out a little bit more. So I'm going to brush this lip gloss on her lips. And I'm going to drop my opacity on that down just a little bit, just so it brings out the natural color, but it doesn't look like she has lipstick on. So maybe 18% on that one. And I think that looks pretty. Now there's also a teeth whitener in this action pack. Her teeth aren't showing, but if they were, this action, you can actually open right up and there's a whitener, a yellow removal, and an extra bright that extra bright is turned off. So if you want the teeth to be brighter, make sure you go in there and just click that on and that will give even more added brightness to your teeth. The final one is the shiny hair. I'm gonna click on that, make sure the layer mask is turned on. I'm going to decrease or zoom out of my image so I can paint on the hair and add on that extra shine. So I'm going through, I'm adding in the shine to her, and I think that looks awesome. Just like that, I'm gonna keep the opacity. And there you have it. Let me show you, there is the original, and this is with the Perfect Portrait Pack. And the only action pack that was ran on this photo was the Perfect Portrait Action Pack. So those are the actions that you just saw me uh, use. Now, if you would like more information on this action pack, it is in the description below, or you can go to cozyclicks.com forward slash perfect portrait to get more information. Bye for now.